James. James. What do you want, Jay? What are you up to? Just editing an episode of Complete the Arc. Haven't you had enough of that yet? Why don't you make something people actually want to see? Like what? Why not read a Twitter post that says new map coming to Xbox and put loads of question marks all over the thumbnail? Easy. Because I enjoy the challenge of what I'm trying to do here. I want to see it through to the end, mate. And as mum would say, if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. What are you on about? This is why nobody watches you. Look, if you've got nothing nice to say, then YouTube is the place to say it. I mean, that's what people want to see. Look, I'm not slating free content that's been made by a community member, mate. You really make things hard for yourself. What's this episode about then? Well, this one's a good one. I'll show everyone how to tame a giant bee and we also- Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're making another video about taming a bee, which is something that you can just craft with Structures Plus. And you've made the video twice before anyway and nobody watched it. But it's not just about taming a giant bee. I'd do loads more than that. Look, mate, you know people would rather hear about the new Oblivion map. Get out, Jay, and it's called The Lost Ark. Skyrim, the ultimate champion's edition coming free to all Ark survival of old players. I'll give you Skyrim. Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with my challenge to complete Ark Survival Evolved and all of its DLC. And today I've got a few things planned. Namely, we're going to be taming ourselves a roll rat. But before we do that, I want to get a gas pod collector down. Now the gas pods are essential. We need them to be able to make the radiation suit. And if we don't have a radiation suit, we can't really venture into the red zone. And even some of the areas in the blue zone have radiation, so we need to get that on the go as soon as possible. So I've made some cementing paste up, and I've also gathered a few red gems just from the roll rats around the fertile zone. So I'll show you how we do that next time I come across a roll rat. I'm just going to craft one of these up so we can get the gas pod collector down and start producing that resource. Now my other plan today is I want to tame up a dire bear, so I'm just going to grab if we've got any some cooked mutton. And there's probably some ovis around on the map anyway, but uh, that will do. We don't need anything too strong, but of course the dire bear is immune to the sting from the giant bee, and I'll probably end up taming a giant bee just so we do have some honey at the base, but. I really won't need to make exceptional kibble on this map. Everything we need to tame is pretty much exempt from the top tier of kibble, but I'll still grab a beehive if we can anyway. So let's just grab a Ravenger and we'll take Delverin out here. And my first plan is we'll just grab a reasonably good Dire Bear or whatever we can find really. Let's just gamma up there. and. There's lots of them around this local area, so I'm sure I'll be able to find one. Oh, hello Spino. Just get rid of you. I'm a little bit too close to the base. There is plenty of action around this area, but I am reasonably safe up on the top of that hill there. And of course, I've been able to gather plenty of metal. And I really want the roll rat so I can gather wood and it really is the definitive creature to gather wood on, if you ask me. So I'm just going to have a look around. I'm sure we'll find a dire bear around here somewhere. And of course, like I say, the dire bear is really good at gathering honey and you won't get dismounted if you're using a dire bear. So just have a little look around here. As you can see, there's loads of spinos and cacanus around here. I do plan to tame up a Kakanus at some point and I do really need to start venturing into the other zones. Just get rid of this. So we've got a dire bear just down here. What level are you? Oh. Dodic's just knocking me. Try and get rid of the... Oh. Oh 
do. I've just aggroed that bear. No, oh, he's only a level 35. We can probably do a little bit better than that. Let's get rid of this dodic now. Accidentally aggroed it. Now, of course, I have timed the giant bee on all the previous maps, and I say it's not really essential that we have one here because I don't really need to make exceptional kibble. Everything that we need to tame on this map takes supreme kibble or under so I don't really need to make Lazarus chowder but if we want to go fishing I, I guess it's always handy to have a giant bee. Let's just get rid of this stuff here. I'm also going to venture out and show you where to gather some rare flowers as well on this map because we need the rare flowers in order to feed the giant beehive. Now, I'm sure we'll find a reasonable dire bear around here somewhere. There's usually plenty of them. Okay, there's one just here. Level are you? Um, oh, 145. Well, you'll certainly do. Let's just grab that. Now, I've got a taming pen just around the corner. Oh, sorry, Delverin. Just shot you in the head. I've got a taming pen just around the corner, so we'll just aggro it around the corner. Tame this dire bear up quickly. Following me. Just up here. I think I'll probably make the Kakanas trap somewhere around there that area as well, to be honest. It's uh, it's been quite easy to grab tames having it just set up there, so I've just left it sat there. Where have you gone, Mr. Diabear? Come over this way. I if I can just get this in the trap. Just to make sure he's aggroed. So yeah, I'll probably set up a Kakanas trap just around this area as well. Wait for a reasonable level one. And again, I know it's not essential to completing this map if we grab a roll rat or a Kakanas, but it certainly will make it a lot easier for gathering wood. And I do need a lot of wood as well. We need to make the metal. It's just become a little bit of a pain. You fighting there? Is that a, it's a dire? Ah, oh, it's a ravenger because it's bleeding. But there you go. It's just creeping up the platform. So that was an easy trap just there. Okay, perfect. So now, of course, the dire bear isn't on the scorched earth map, so we couldn't use it there. But if you're on the island map, you can grab a dire bear, and this will make it a lot easier gathering honey. It is the only creature that won't dis get dismounted if you're trying to tame a bee. Okay, oh, probably hit one too many darts there, never mind. Now I think I saw an Ovis just over the top here, so we'll use fresh mutton instead of the cooked mutton. I always check out the Tex Degos. Again, that would be another option for fighting Rockwell possibly, but if I come across a decent level Tex Stego, I'll tame it. Since the TLC, it's definitely become an option for boss fighting. And if anyone has been watching the tribe stuff that we've been doing, we just faced off against the dragon with Thenos, so Herbivores are an option for fighting bosses, that's for sure. Which is another reason why it would be useful to be able to gather honey. So here we go. So we've just got a roll rat here and he will drag up some gems. Just some green gems. Let's hang about for it to get some red gems. Okay, there's one just there. So this is pretty much the best way to get your beginning red gems. And uh, 
of course, the second that we grab this, it will start aggroing. Oh, 20 odd gems there, that's really good. I don't know how we got that many. Oh, this is. Level 45. Okay. Have to check my settings. I don't think they've changed at all. Just did a settings guide, but I've had to gather quite a few gems from the roll rats. But we just got just over 20 there. But that's pretty much the best way to gather gems at the start. Certainly what you'll need. Of course, once we can get down to the red zone, there's plenty of red gems around we can just gather. Let's just grab a little bit of this mutton. We'll get this dire bear tamed up. Okay. We'll just hang about for this one to wake up. We've got ourselves a dire bear. Okay. So we're going to go with the patron naming rights. So Craigers Gaming, thank you very much for your support on Patreon, my man. And we're naming you after the dire bear. So next, I just want to gather some rare flowers. And I'm going to show you where we can find some easy rare flowers just in the fertile zone. Of course, we need those. We could tame the bee with rare flowers, but I'm going to actually use some kibble. I've got some fertilized raptor eggs and it only really takes rocket root and raptor eggs to make that tier of kibble. Okay, so here's what we're looking for for the rare flowers. We're looking for these reeds and of course they're just next to these white lilies which grow pretty much around the outside of the river. And these are the same plants as well. You can find these reeds on the island map just around the outside of the swamp zone. So they're pretty much an easy way to gather rare flowers. And of course, if I had a herbivore, I'd be able to gather a lot more than this, but I'll just gather enough just to be able to get us started. And we could use the rare flowers in order to tame the bee, but I'm going to make up a little bit of kibble. Now, all giant bees are a level five, so we only really need one kibble in order to tame the giant bee on this map. And these white lilies will give us some plant species X back. But it's these reeds here that we're looking for for the rare flowers. And again, they're pretty much growing just around the outside of the rivers here. So they're not that hard to find. And again, the same goes for the island map just around the outside of the swamp. If you're looking for rare flowers. But that should do it. We've got plenty now. Okay. I'm just making up some kibble. You know, I only need one kibble in order to tame this giant bee, but all it takes to make the kibble is rocket root, cooked fish meat, medjos, and of course fiber. So I'm going to make up some extra. That way we've got some stuff for imprinting if we need it, I may as well. And I'm just using fertilized raptor eggs. It's the easiest way to make it. So that should do it. So we've got enough now to be able to tame a giant bee. And of course we've got Kragers now, so we'll take our dire bear out and grab a beehive. Let's just put all of this back in here, get rid of that. Don't really need that. And I'll just take one kibble with us, that's all we really need. And like I say, of course we could use the rare flowers as well, but that will be less tame in effectiveness. So we'll just use the simple kibble. Okay, I just need to make a dire bear saddle up. Got enough cementing paste now, just need some hide. Let's grab some of this. Dire bear saddle, okay. So before we go out and use Kragers, I'm actually going to go and put this gas pod collector down. Now there is a gas vein just above me here, so that's the one that's closest to us. So I'm just going to put the gas pod collector down above us. Just put Kragers down here and give him a couple of 
levels in health just to get him started. I do like the Dire Bear actually, they are a really good way to get around the map. Of course they can run really fast once they get momentum and speed. And I'll just put some raw meat on you so you can heal up here. Let's just get you healed a little bit more. There's not much on you to start with. Now I won't bother breeding the dire bears, but I say it is a good early tame, and it really is the best creature to go hunting for the giant bee with. Not only can you tame the giant bee with the dire bear quite easy, but it can just grab honey anyway from the hives. Okay. Right, Kragers, you'll be okay there. Let's go and put this gas pod collector down. So just up above me here, there is a gas pod collector. Now, I can't remember, I did get an earlier comment before on one of the videos saying that there is a gas vein up here. So thanks for that. I actually didn't know that, but I may as well use this one. It is literally the closest one we have. Just going to have to use the rock pick to get up here a little bit. That's another thing I could do with is some decent rock picks. Hopefully we'll come across some of them later on. The durability on the primitive ones is not the greatest. And let's just see if we can get around the side here a little bit easier. I will put some zip lines up so we can get the Ravengers just coming up here. Jump up here, get a little bit higher, yeah. Hopefully I should just be able to put a zip line down here. We should be able to get to the top. So hopefully that stretches, should be enough. Let's put it just about there. And yeah, perfect. Okay. Just grab Meerkat version 2. And these Ravengers are great for getting around the fertile zone. Okay. Oh. Let's try again. Should. Oh, there we go. Just have to wait for the cursor to come up. And just up here next to this charger. There we go. We've got another gas pod just there. Let's just get rid of these guys. There you go, so you can see now it's just shooting out the gas. This is a, of course, a poisonous gas. If we just go in here, you'll see we start taking damage. Just get away from that. So we just need to put our gas pod collector down on top. And slowly, over time, we'll be gathering the resources that we need to be able to make the radiation suits. Where are you? So let's just stick this down so we can start gathering some of the gas pods. There we go. So we've got the gas vein down and slowly over time this will start filling up. We'll have everything we need to make the radiation suits. So let's go out and try and find ourselves a giant bee. And there is plenty of beehives around this zone so it shouldn't be too hard. I'll just go and grab Krager's have a look what we can find. Okay so I've already gathered enough honey so we can actually tame ourselves a roll rat but durability I'm just knocking this beehive down a bit and as you can see here the dire bear is immune to the bee stings. 
Now I didn't make any bug repellent up. Of course we've got a ghillie suit on and it'd probably be a lot easier if we could make some bug repellent. But just see how this works. Oh, there we go. And our giant bee has now popped out. Looks like we had two honey combs just here. Actually one spawned on the top of the other one. I've just been raiding a few of the honeycombs and some of them were empty. And it does happen. Okay, so it's spitting out loads of these bees. Let's just get her back a bit. It looks like it's stuck in that corner, so that's perfect. So let's just stick our kibble on our last bar here. And just creep up, should be able to get behind it. Okay. Let's just get rid of these drones first. wait for it to stop producing drones for a second so we've got a window just to sneak up behind it um, but the fact that it's just stuck in that corner should make this tame pretty easy okay okay let's go should do let's just crouch there we go so I only took the one kibble, and like I say, all giant bees are just a level 5. Now we can just gather honey. There we go, We've gathered some extra because there was a, a double hive just here. There we go, so now we've got ourselves a giant bee, and we managed to do that without bug repellent. So we got a little bit lucky there because the bee just got stuck against the wall. But Definitely the definitive way to get yourself a giant bee is on the dire bear. So now let's go and hunt for a decent level roll rat. I'm just going to shove this back on Delverin. Of course the honey lasts a lot longer on a dino than it does in our inventory. But I should have plenty enough honey now to be able to tame a roll rat. So. Now ideally I want a reasonable level one and of course I know it's not essential to complete in the game that we grab a roll rat but it really will make all of the difference when it comes to gathering wood. Okay what level are you? Just have to check. Couldn't quite make that out. No. I'm just going to kill off the ones that are no good and I'm sure eventually we'll find something that's half decent level. A level 10, yeah you're not much good to us. Dire bears. Okay. Let's continue on. Have a look around the portal spawn area. See if we can find one. Okay got a level 115 so this is perfect. I also got a couple of green drops. We've got a Mastercraft sickle and a Mastercraft pickaxe recipe so that'd be good. Now when it comes to throwing the honey you just put that anywhere on your toolbar. It doesn't have to be on the last one. I need to wait for it to start diving before we throw down the honey. Just want to keep our spino near us as well because you never know what's around. Now the roll rat won't aggro on us as long as we don't steal any of the gems that it brings up. And there is no cooldown on the tames by the way as soon as you start taming a roll rat you need to just throw honey into the hole that it makes every single time. So as soon as it starts to make that animation, you need to throw the honey. And here we go, just throw that. And there you go, it's just eaten its first set of honey. So 
Let's just have a look. Okay, almost 10%, so we're going to need to do this 11 times before we end up taming this. But most importantly, if we miss one of the burrows, then we will lay, lose taming effectiveness. So we need to do this each time it burrows. And as soon as you notice it starting to delve underground, that's when we throw the honey. So I'm about to say you can put it anywhere on your toolbar, but it is pretty easy. Just being patient. There we go. Start to burrow. I'll throw the honey. And there we go. It's just gone down the hole. So, and that's all there is to it. Let's just check taming effectiveness. Ooh. So yeah, we're going to need to do this 11 times. But as you can see, taming effectiveness still 100%. It will only drop taming effectiveness if we miss one of the burrows. see. So I'm just playing the waiting game here. This will do perfectly. A 115 is the best I could find. I have killed quite a few of the roll rats off. And I say it's definitely the best creature when it comes to gathering wood. There we go. Start to burrow again. There we go. Got another tame in. But it doesn't matter where you put that honey on the tall bar. You can put it anywhere. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it just needs to burrow it one more time. Unfortunately, I did miss one of its burrows got caught behind the rock and fell down in the river here so we haven't got a hundred percent taming effectiveness this should be the last one there we go fantastic got ourselves a roll rat and just going to go with the patron naming rights so key thank you very much for your support on patreon my man and we're naming you after the roll rat now we need to get back and make ourselves a saddle and I will show you how efficient this is at gathering wood. Of course, weight and melee damage are going to be pretty much essential here. It does take a huge reduction in wood and carrying wood and weight. Now, strangely enough, the roll rat is literally the only creature in the game that has durability on its saddle, so its saddle will break after a time. Let's get back to base and I'll show you how efficient this creature can be at gathering resources. And let's like say, even though it's not essential, it is extremely useful. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we've just made Key a saddle. And of course, this is pretty much the only saddle in the game that needs durability. I'm just going to give you a little bit of health, as you can see here. There we go, we've got durability in the top corner. Now, I do believe initially when Ark Survival Evolved came out, there was plans to put durability on all saddles. And I'm so pleased they got rid of that mechanic. But this is the only creature saddle that does have durability on it and as you can see well, it's been a while since I've used the roll wrap but as you can see it doesn't struggle getting around the map quickly and ooh, just stuck in this corner you need a little bit of momentum in rolling before we can start destroying the resources in front of us and of course if we just roll over the resources we don't actually gather anything there is plenty there we go, we'll just smash through the rocks and trees here. And as you can see, we're not actually gathering any of the resources that way. But it is very handy for getting around quickly. Alright, let's just turn around. If we can. It is handy having that roll ability. It really does get around the map. 
extremely quick. And, oh, looks like a, a Sarko is on us. Let's try rolling over it. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Turning radius on the roll rat is a little bit difficult. Let's just try and get straight on towards this Sarko. And the Sarko. There we go. Oh, looks like we've got an explorer note there. I never actually noticed that one just hidden below our base here. Yeah, Diana or a Santiago note, but I'll grab it with key. Okay, so let's just gather some fungal wood and as you can see here, one hit just got us 250 wood. So it really is the definitive creature for gathering wood. It's even more powerful than the mammoth. And this is just going to make that bottleneck that I had before, especially when it comes to stoking the forges. I say it's not essential that we have a roll rat for completing aberration, but it really, really will make things a lot easier. Oh, I'm just getting bugged. Okay, we've got a few levels here. But as you can see, we also get the reduction in weight. And let's just pump some more weight into there. When it comes to wood, we get the reduction in weight. And of course, the saddle is actually a three-seater saddle. So one of the few saddles in the game where we can have multiple players sat there. And I've got a whole forest in front of me so gathering wood is not going to be a problem anymore and I'm going to be able to stoke the forges and of course I'm going to need plenty of metal let's just drop some of these free up some weight on key but there you go in just that little short bit there we've managed to gather loads of wood course it just rolls through everything <laughs> I love the way it skids okay so it's just like a, a faster version of the dodicarus now we can actually turn on the do dodic as well they've just introduced that it used to just go in a straight line but they pretty much work the same way as the roll rat and I will admit that gathering wood has been a little bit of a problem keeping these Forge is going. I have just been using Legate in order to gather wood and also bringing it back on the Spino. There is plenty of uh, metal. Did I say gathering wood? But I have been using our Parasaur just to gather or carry the metal along with Delver in the Spino. So the next thing we'll need is an Anki course that's going to make things a lot easier just get rid of some of that there we go got plenty of metal on the go so I should be able to get an industrial forge down and our chemistry bench we'll also be able to do a little bit of base building a bit easier now the key is going to make that a lot easier for us so when we head down into the blue zone I'll be able to get an Anki but I really do like the roll rat. I would say it is pretty much the definitive way to gather wood on any of the maps that it is available. I know they are on Genesis Part 1 as well. But hey, there we go. Tamed ourselves a roll rat. And that's pretty much all the time we have there. Next time I'm going to be able to venture into the blue zone. I do want to be able to gather a frog, a baryonyx and an anki. There are a few more of the essential creatures that I'm going to need as well. But we will be able to start going and venturing out into the tougher zones now. I just want to get a roll rat so we could get the wood. And now that we've got wood, well, it shouldn't be a problem to do a little bit more base building and get a few more essentials together. And of course, we've got our gas pod collector down now, so I'm going to be able to make a radiation suit. But that's all the time we have for in this episode of Complete Arc. And until next time, 
I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.